Hi guys. As part of the Ditch the Dry campaign in August, um, I just thought I would share with you some of the re some of the reasons why I really, really don't want to feed kibble to cats and dogs. Okay, I'm going to talk to you today about the AFCO food trial. Okay, this is considered the gold standard within the conventional uh, kibble feeding community as being this is how you test food properly you can uh, there are two other ways you can you can analyze it using a computer you look at the ingredients you uh, put them through a computer and it will tell you roughly how much the food should have there's some approximation but that gives you an idea the next way is that you take the food and you send it to a laboratory and they will analyze it for fat and protein and moisture and zinc and calcium and phosphorus and la 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 all right and they'll tell you and you you then compare those against the the guidelines in the states it's the afco guidelines in the in the uk it's the fediaf guidelines these are the pet food manufacturers associations and overseers of of of, of supposedly overseers of the quality of the food so you can do that or the gold standard the gold standard is you actually try the food and i just think the this gold standard is completely inadequate it's just not fit for purpose and yet everybody you know all the board certified nutritionists will say this is fantastic you know we've really tested this to death so the gold standard is you only need to start the minimum requirement for this test is just eight dogs say we'll talk about dogs so you've got eight dogs they need to be put onto the diet for six months but in order to test it and that's all they can have they can have the diet and they can have water however you are allowed to remove two of those if they become sick during the trial so actually this test for a food which is then going to feed millions of various different dogs needs only to be done on six dogs for six months and as long as they don't get obviously sick or lose more than 15 percent of body weight which is quite a lot of, lot of uh, quite a lot of weight if you think about it and as long as they stay within that those those parameters uh, then the food is considered to be passed they will also take four they'll take a blood test at the end and measure just four things if you take your dog in for a dental or for a, for an operation or something they will measure 9 10 12 parameters blood blood cell parameters as well as biochemical parameters the gold standard they only mention, measure four things and those four things are the uh, whether the um, whether the dog is anemic or not the the red blood cells and the the uh, uh, the pack cell volume how many uh, cells you have per per unit volume okay um, the they will measure how much hemoglobin there is within the blood and within each cell as well okay so that's two things to do with red blood cells because if you're not eating a proper diet then those that goes can decrease they will measure an enzyme called alkaline phosphatase which is uh, which will indicate if the bones are are kind of generally releasing a lot of tissue because of malnutrition it will also give you an indication that them if the if the muscle is being eaten because of malnutrition from the food okay but it's only one enzyme normally we would run a stack of enzymes in order to have a full appreciation of what's happening with the body the final test that they do is called serum albumin and again if you're malnourished your serum blood albumin which you use as a thickener in your blood so that you can pump it effectively if you've malnourished then that will that will drop yeah not enough protein in the diet for example means that you haven't got enough protein in your blood okay so 
The manufacturers, if the dogs pass it and they haven't lost more than 15% of body weight, they say, look, this six, these six dogs on this food for six months means that we can feed all the dogs in America or in the UK. Well, it's an American test. So all the dogs in America on this diet for an entire life stage because we've tested it over this. Yeah. So the adult life stage is is about six, seven, eight years. And they say this six month test allows us to predict that all dogs eating this food are going to be healthy and well and will do brilliantly for an entire life stage, for an entire eight year period. What kind of madness is that? I think it's just it's just I think it's really dangerous and, and irresponsible in my opinion. So do you really want to feed dry kibbled food to your pet? 